Okay, so I bet many of you are losing fights that you wouldn't be if you were using this one simple mechanic. And I'm sure that you're trying to find ways to win more fights, which is exactly why you clicked on this video. But would you believe me that you could instantly start winning more fights just by taking advantage of one simple mechanic called recoil smoothing? And if you're unaware of what that is, we're going to be breaking down what it is, how to use it, and how to practice it. But before we get into that, if you enjoyed today's video or find any of this information helpful, please leave a like on this video. It really helps me out get this video to more people that way they can also start improving. And if you want to support me further, you can hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. So this mechanic was dubbed a recoil smoothing by aim enthusiast known as Voltaic Torque. What he found is that recoil works in a very unique way in Apex. And when I say unique, I mean unique. I can't think of any other main mainstream game that works like this and I came from Fortnite and Warzone. The way it works is as long as your crosshair is moving at 3.7 degrees per second, then you essentially have no recoil. If I had to guess, this is because devs realized that controlling recoil on a controller, trying to match the pattern would be incredibly difficult. So this mechanic was implemented in order to make tracking targets much easier. So again, how you do this is when you're aiming, the simple act of just moving to the left or to the right at a constant velocity, as long as you're going 3.7 degrees per second, you will have no recoil. And as I said, this is a mechanic that benefits both inputs, both controller and mouse and keyboard. So what are the best ways to practice this? Even though aim training on console is incredibly limited, you can still practice this fairly easily by just going into the firing range. All you need to do is grab any weapon, preferably something that you're not good with. Then from there, aim at the target and start strafing either to the left or right, but just go in one direction to start off. Now while strafing, fire at the target and try to keep your crosshair on the target as much as possible. And again, you should only have to move your crosshair either to the left or to the right to counteract your strafe. Make sure that you practice this in both directions, both to the left and to the right. Now, once you feel comfortable with going in one single direction, I want you to incorporate going in both directions, meaning go a little bit to the left and then start going to the right or to a little bit to the right and then going to the left. Keep it alternating. This will make you a much harder target, which will effectively mean that you take less damage. Next, we're going to talk about your strafe specifically, because I feel like a lot of players are underutilizing these two strafing techniques. The first one being the mirror strafe. The mirror strafe is from your point of view, if the target is moving to the right, you are also moving to the right with them. This essentially means that you just don't need to move your crosshair as long as your crosshair is on the target the entire time while you're shooting. This also makes you an easy target to hit too because if they're doing the same strafe as you, they don't need to move their crosshair either. Which is why the preferred technique to use that most pros and aim enthusiasts use is the anti-mirror strafe. Many of you may already be doing this subconsciously without even knowing what it is. But to describe it, it would be if from your point of view, if the target is moving to the right, you are moving to the left. And if they are moving to the left, you are moving to the right. Not only does this make you a harder target to hit, but it also forces you to use recoil smoothing, which is why this is so important. What you need to be doing is to start anti-mirror strafing much more. That way you are forced to use recoil smoothing, which will remove your recoil essentially from every single gun that you use, while also giving you the benefits of making you a harder target to hit. If you're on console, the best way to practice this is to do 1v1s with your friends. But for us PC players, even if you are on controller, I highly suggest that you use one of these three aim trainers, either Kovax, Aim Lab, or Apex Aim Trainer. My two favorite would be Kovax and then Apex Aim Trainer, but I know many of you want the free-to-play option, which is Aim Lab, so any of them honestly will work well. But in the description below, I will have a share tag for a playlist that will help you practice your strafe in Kovax. This is a playlist that I use every single day whenever I'm getting on in order to warm up, and honestly, I can say that it has improved a lot of my gun skill. With the vast amount of strafing scenarios and the way that it forces you to use smooth aiming to stay on a target is incredibly beneficial. Apex Aim Trainer is also good for practice Practice as it has the guns that are already in the game for Apex. It just has them in this trainer and you can use these to get more realistic recoil. You can also set the targets to strafe. I use this occasionally as I do feel that Kovacs is a superior aim trainer. But I promise just by doing something as simple as strafing and using recoil smoothing that you will instantly start winning more fights. If you found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on the video as it will help boost me in the algorithm. I hope that you start frying more and I will see you guys in the next one.